Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbythen.com with our final case of 2018 Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition, 12-box hobby. Pick your team number three from jazbeeshobbyland.com. We knocked out three full cases in like the last two nights, so people were in a baseball mood. Thank you. So already the first of September already. It's the first of the month. Topps Chrome Baseball. Here are the people that pick their teams. Boombox with the Angels. TJP with the Yankees. Last Bot Mojo going to Rick T and the Nationals. Good luck to everybody. Two autographs per box, 24 autographs total. Orange parallels are an exclusive to this hobby edition. Good luck, everybody. This is the break where I, where I injured my thumb there last night. This is the, my first my first Jaspi injury, and. Uh, in years, I think. I don't I think it's been a while since I injured myself through, through the course during the course of a break. I had to take an injury timeout, dress the dress the wound. All right, box one. Good luck, everybody. Um, let's see. What, do we we have final scores just in two games. I think only two games are a final. Yankees. Beat the Tigers in New York two to one. Now the New York teams have won today. The Mets beat the Giants two to one in the top. Of, uh, I think they scored a run in the top of the eleventh, and then shut down the Giants in San Francisco in the bottom of the eleventh. Hung on to win the game. That's the other games in progress. Brewers leading the Nationals two one. Cubs leading the Phillies four one. Cleveland down to the Rays. Rays are leading 4-2. Red Sox leading the White Sox 2-1. Angels leading the Strohs 3-1. Are the Angels about to take three games from the from the Astros, I think? Pirates leading the Braves 3-0. Michigan playing Notre Dame just scored a big touchdown. I don't I don't know what the play was. Oh, it was a kickoff return. Punt return? Kickoff return? Something like that. On a return. Um, the Marlins leading 6-1. to one. They're beating the Blue Jays 6-1 to one in the bottom of the 6th. Reds shutting out the Cardinals in the bottom of the 6th. 3-0. Orioles leading the Royals in the 6th. 2-1. to one. And early, uh, early in the game. Already six runs in this game. Six total runs by the third inning. Rangers are leading 4-2 over the Twins. All right. Good luck, everybody. First autograph is Dominic Smith, Chris Parent. Bought the Mets in this full caser on the board. The real Smith, 22, he says. I think the Dodgers were lucky to beat Zach Ranke last night. Kershaw on the mound tonight against another tough pitcher, Patrick Corbin. Dodgers trying to get back into back get back into the top spot in the NL West. Well, we got a redemption coming up. Any guesses on that redemption?
Got a gold, Joey Votto. That's cool. 24 out of 50 for the Reds. That'll be for Paul Harris. Dave, you want some Dodgers? He wants to see some Dodgers? Or you're saying go Dodgers in general? Uh, Rich saying Otani color, Otani parallel. That would that would make Boombox very happy. All right, so behind Addison Russell, congratulations, you are due to receive a rookie autograph purple refractor parallel of. It's the suspense. M. Shohei doesn't start with an M. Mohe Motani? Mike? Mike Soroka? Mike Soroka. For the Braves. And that will go to Stacy in the Bravos. Oh, there you go, Davey. Davey has the Dodgers to win and under seven and a half runs. And your favorite team, likewise. Good pick. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a tough one. It probably would be under seven. That's a good, I don't like doing the over-unders. I'm never good at those. All right. I, I, I picked the Dodgers to win as well. Solidarity for the Dodgers. Try to if they win this one, they might be tied for first after this. My first pick of the day has won. I got the, had the Mets at plus one twenty two. They won. I got the Red Sox at minus one sixty five. They got to beat the White Sox. They're not going to lose three games in a row to the White Sox, right? I think it's been three. They've got to pick up this one. They're leading two to one in the top of the seventh. My other pick, the Pirates. Pirates are leading 3-1. I think I had them plus 125 or something like that. Yeah, got Cleveland as well as a slight favorite. They are down to the Rays, but they could they could bounce back. They're at home. They've got time. I was saying this in the previous break, but we are we are we are entering a really good moment in sports, ladies and gentlemen. I think September, especially October, playoff baseball, NFL is in full swing. I'm a big soccer fan, so English Premier League is in full swing. College football just started. Basketball, hockey, chase for the cup. I think will still be happening in October, right? NASCAR fan. Every night there'll be something. Alex Mejia is something for Lee and the Cardinals. And we've got Green, Starlin Castro, 34 out of 99. It's Kenley Jansen had a very nice slave last night. Looked like his old self. Hopefully that trend continues. There's Otani. And another red team, Jackson Stevens. Aren't they playing each other? They are. Jackson Stevens for the Reds. Paul Harris with the Reds. Reds are leading 3-0. Oh, 
on the uh, Cardinals. Bottom of the sixth in St. Louis. There's Edwin Diaz for the Mariners at a 299. David No, well, welcome, saying, I can't wait to see how your Lakers do this year. I know. My Lakers as well. It'll be an interesting season. I mean, I guess you could make the argument that LeBron, the team LeBron is on now, is better than the team that he had in Cleveland. But then again, the, the West is much tougher than the east in general. The playoff will the playoffs will definitely be a lot tougher. So I don't know how the, I don't know how that works out. I've not made any I don't know how how many uh <laughs> I've made any NBA picks yet. I got to start working on that too. A lot a lot of picks I need to, I need to work on. Michael Davis, what's going on? You just got here. Yes, everyone's been uh, everyone's been uh saying it. So well, no one's no one's apologized yet. John Samuelson is a Bears fan as well, Michael Davis, like you, and he's he's been gloating, gloating. You don't have to apologize. You didn't take Khalil Mack. You uh, the Raiders traded him away. Robert Ward is reporting that the Cowboys cut kicker Dan Bailey. Really. Who do they have kicking? I did see that. They they bought out and stretched Luel Dang. That's they they had no other choice. No one was going to trade for him. He probably wasn't going to wasn't going to play again this season, so so they had to they had to stretch him. Which is fine. I'll eat I'll eat that money. We'll move on. They signed an ex CFL kicker. What, what was wrong with Dan Bailey? Was he? I thought he was. Wasn't he effective last year? We saw that as well. Jarek McKinnon out for the year. So dust off your um, dust off your Matt Breida rookie cards from last year. David knows wondering who the 15 spot is for. Yeah, where does that where does that dang money go? Probably probably more for preparing for next year, right? Kawhi, Clay Thompson, boom. <laughs> Nikki Delmonico. Mark Green with the White Sox. There you go, Mark. Michael Davis saying the Niners will trade for a back? It's not good for the hobby and Matt Breed autographs. I want every transaction that happens. I want it to be good for for the hobby for collectors like us. Whoever has whoever bought the Niners and have a stack of Matt Breed cards sitting around. How old is Dan Bailey? That that Dan Bailey move seems a little odd, doesn't it? Brett Myers, Tribe, Greg Allen. There you go, Big Rig. That's right, Brett. Brett's like, dang, I got a card. You did. 
All right, so those are your two autographs. Let's see if there's any parallels. I want to see some, uh, that's a green one, John Lester. I want to see some more orange here. Looks like they, I was wondering what, looks like they cut these weird. Some of them are cut kind of weird in this pack. Centering zero. <laughs> Bailey's only 30? What happened? It couldn't have been a money thing, right? They didn't cut Dan Bailey because of for, for money for financial reasons. You know who could use a can use a kicker. I feel like the Raiders could use a kicker. Raiders, go get Dan Bailey. <laughs> cut Martavis Bryant. Trade away Cleo Mack. Pick up Dan Bailey. Boom. Boom. Off season done. on the fan a little bit here. It's getting a little warm. Bill Collins, any idea when the baseball mixer break will happen? Already happened. Already happened. Video is already up. If you look at our uh, look at our videos that we uploaded. We upload as soon as the breaks are over. We did that about a couple hours ago. Oh, he was injured last season? Oh, I forgot about that. Well, how do you look in preseason? Anyone been scouting Dan <laughs> scouting kickers? All right, no worries, Bill Collins. Good luck. Hope you did well in that break. Remember, you can. Uh, it's an hour long. You can watch it at double speed. Or I think you can click click the letter L on your keyboard to fast forward it 10 seconds at a time. You can kind of breeze through the video that way too. Pro tips if you have to rewatch a long break. Oh, Michael Davis saying the Raiders cut one Bryant to sign another Bryant, a Des Bryant. That would be a that would be a good Raider. That's actually a very good Raider signing. Get uh get a cast off in Des Bryant, unloved, unloved, and all you gotta do is be like, hey, Des Bryant, the silver and black will be the place to revive. Show you show them. You show them. Silver and Black always have a chip on their shoulders. Derek Carr, Des Bryant all season long. All right. Next box. Oh. We got a redemption here. Any guesses on that white redemption? Someone must have been really late turning in the cards. We got Daniel Murphy for Rick T in the Nats out of 75. Looking for a big hit in that last spot in Mojo slot. Um, I, w I would like to. I would like to know where. Where can I purchase? Should I wear Monday night? Well, I'm not breaking Monday night, but should I wear? Uh, well, no, I don't break on game days. Maybe on a third, if they play a Thursday night game, I buy some buy some of those spikes and wear those. Ah, there's Reyes Moronta for the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo Lee with the Giants. Future big sexy right here. You heard it here first, folks. We need someone to take that title. When and if Bartol Bartolo Colon may never retire. I think. He, he could be a cyborg. Bar Bartolo Colon is a good cyborg candidate. Could be a good cyborg candidate. 44 out of 50. Reese Hoskins. Gold. Gold for TJ. 
There you go, TJ. Gold Reese Hoskins. He's guessing J.P. Crawford for that redemption. All right, Willie Calhoun, help us out. Redemption card. Congratulations to someone. You are due to receive a rookie autograph of... G L Glenn Glay Glaber Torres. I know it's Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. That goes to the Yankees. The other TJ with that one. TJ Poyer with the Bronx Bombers. There you go, sir. Nice. Next box. Good luck. Yeah, that is a nice hit, Robert. It could could be possible AL Rookie of the Year. Him or Miguel Andujar. Maybe, maybe Otani's back in the AL Rookie of the Year. Hunt, what do you think, folks? If Otani's pitching on Sunday, and I think it's a Sunday night, I think that's the Sunday night baseball game too on ESPN. So what if like Otani goes and throws a no hitter? So if he throws a no hitter. Back in the hunt for AL Rookie of the Year, even with an abbreviated season. <laughs> Ray Ray's back. He's saying, "Oh, guy is killing me. I got the I got the ninth overall pick. How many? How many teams? Ten teams? Twelve teams? That's why I do auctions. I stopped doing snake drafts." I was just like, can't do snake drafts anymore. Auctions for me. My, my, my main baseball league, auction. My only baseball league, auction. Football league, auction. Oh, it is Sunday now against Garrett Cole. That, that, that might not be a no-hitter game. <laughs> I, I don't think the Astros are going to get no-hit. I don't think they're going to let Otani throw throw that many pitches. If Otani throws, because I think they're only going to have him throw like, what did I read? I think I heard on the radio or something, maybe 50, 60 pitches. Not very many. I don't think they're going to have him throw very many pitches. But if he gets, if he gets a 60 pitch no hitter, that would be amazing. It'll just be like first pitch pop ups pretty much the entire game. That's all it would take. All right, there's Nick Castellanos, 58 out of 99 for the Tigers. Another redemption. And he guesses on that one. Chance Cisco, perhaps? I feel like we can't guess Chance Cisco anymore. He's, 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 we see him too often. Uh, Mark saying Mark Green is saying combined no no, but with the but yeah, not with that Angels bullpen. I mean, if it if it was a combined no hitter with that with that horrible horrible Angels bullpen, that would be a that would be the bigger story than Otani twirling like seven, five solid innings of no hit ball. The story would be that the Angels actually no hit someone for for three three or four innings. We got some guesses here. Rick T looking for Bryce Harper. Nolan is saying Otani since we're talking about him. Yeah, that'd be a parallel. It'd be nice. Robert guessing Walker Bueller. Richard Lupa guessing Acuna. Ronald Acuna. All good guesses. There's Kyle Farmer for my Dodgers. Mark Green 
with that one. Mars G. Michael Rinderman with another Soroka. I mean, that's, that's probably a good possible, just, just as possible as this guy. All right. Well, let's see who joins Kyle Farmer as the second autograph in this box. Congratulations, someone. You are due to receive a rookie autograph gold refractor parallel. That card is gold. Oh, is it another Michael Soroka? No, Mike? No, Mike Soroka. It is. Well, you got it, Michael Renderman. That's another one for Stacy. Stacy, you're starting your Michael Soroka rainbow. <laughs> you win groans because... <laughs> you win groans. Because I don't think everyone wanted to see a second Michael Soroka. Or Mike. I guess he's going by Mike now. Stace, Stace has to do the rainbow now. She has to go find the one of one. It's your mission now, Stace. Go find the one of one. Find the out of five. I got you the gold. I got you the purple. Like quarter of the way there. There you go. Michael Rinderman will get you the Soroka out of 99 that he pulled out at Walmart. Yeah, build the full full hobby and and retail rainbow across all, all products. If you're building a rainbow, you have to include like the like the orange from the hobby sets, right? To make to make the true full rainbow, I feel like I feel like yes. I feel like that'd be a cool a cool project. Kind of want to do one. We've actually pulled um, all things cons all things considered. Unlike some previous top sets where it was almost impossible to find Otanis, we found a decent amount of Otanis out of our Topps Chrome breaks across Jumbo and Hobby. We just pulled a base one, a base auto out of the uh, out of the baseball mixer actually from earlier today. Uh, what did we pull yesterday, you guys? We pulled a redemption of Otani. It was an orange one though, I think. Yes, Rick T. I, I've I've totally forgotten to respond to that email, but I will I will definitely do do that. And we'll figure out a price and we'll go from there. All right. Oh, the, the variation is of him running in a red jersey. I don't know if I've seen that one yet. Maybe. We've been pulling all the all the uh, Otani cards, though. This is a nice one. I like the blue waves here for the Miami Marlins. Anthony Frank on the board with Tyron Guerrero, 81 out of 150. There's J.D. Davis, your second autograph out of here. T.D. with the Astros. Astros crawling back against the Angels. It's 3-2 now, Angels in Houston.
Roddy Reed to 299 for the Nats. Oh, some orange. Ah, oh, for the Astros. 25 out of 25. Marwin Gonzalez for TD. I like when the parallel matches up with the uh, with the team colors. Nice. All right, we are halfway through this full case break, ladies and gentlemen. Six boxes to go. We have not seen the uh, the case hit yet, the rookie debut medallion. I think so too, right? Let me pull that. That was, I think that was a refractor. That's probably that was going to ship anyway. But it's different from his other ones here. Our shipping team usually catches all of these. All right, so that variation will go to you, Mark. A little coffee break. And let's continue. A lot of games close to finishing now. We've got games going into the bottom of the eighth. We've got games in the seventh inning, bottom of the seventh inning. So, uh, games that are close, games that are starting. My Dodgers have started. So this would be this would be great. They they got the win from Zach Granke, which is huge. And if they could sneak a win from Patrick Corbin, it would be pretty nice. Because that means then Walker Buehler will have a good chance to win a game, to win the game on Sunday. Although at the end of the day, breaking even in this series is really the bare minimum. And I think the Diamondbacks have a pretty tough schedule through the rest of September. Kind of the tough schedule that the, the Dodgers had in August. And then the Angels, or Angels, and the Dodgers go to Arizona to play their last three or four games of the season there. And that might be that three game, three or four game series is what is what may clinch it. And I guess anything can happen in the playoffs. There's the case hit right there. The one per case medallion. All right, good luck, everyone. Cole Hamels leading it off. Tyler Wade for the Yankees. TJ Poyer with the Yankees. You know, I haven't seen one of those case hits. I think some of them, are, some of them can be autographed too, right? I don't think we've seen... I'm almost certain we have not seen one of those yet. Unless it was a redemption. I don't usually don't remember if they're redemptions, but I don't think we've seen one live yet. There's Dylan Peters for the Miami Marlins. That'll be for Anthony Frank. Anthony Frank with a couple Marlins. So there are your two autographs. Let's maybe find some low number parallels. A red, another orange. I love the oranges. Oh, you see one on eBay? That's a, an Ichiro autograph medallion. That's pretty cool, Robert. Yeah, I'd like to pull one of those. 
That would make the Mariners owner very happy, Nicholas Hammonds. Oh, there's some orange down there, and it's going to be for the Pirates. Nice orange, James and Tyon. Uh, Shannon with the Pittsburgh Pirates. 11 out of 25. Very cool, and a nice Jaspi orange. That's what Topps calls it, a Jaspi orange parallel, right? It's, just, it's what I saw on the checklist. All right, behind DD is Raphael Devers, rookie debut medallion for the Red Sox. Not numbered, but the case hit going to Blake and the Bow Sox. Nice, next box. All right, so looking at this, looking at the baseball standings really quick, I just I don't think I think everything's is everything pretty much set except for wild cards. Yankees aren't going to catch up, right? Seven games back of the Red Sox. I feel like that's just a little too much of a. I mean, if there's like a crazy, crazy run where maybe they're two and a half games back in like a week or two, that can make things pretty spicy. Um, no one's catching the Indians in that division. And this uh, AL West, I, I, if, someone's, if someone told me at the beginning of the season, if someone told me at the beginning of the season, Joe, the Oakland A's were going to be one and a half games back of the Houston Astros on September 1st, I would have been like, you're crazy. How much money you want to bet? You know, and I would lose that money because the Oakland A's are one and a half games back of Houston. So I don't know. I think Astros fans may be getting a little nervous. And we've got the Astros are still trailing in Houston, three to two or two to three. I guess, to the Angels. And Seattle and Oakland just squared off. So they that might have, you know, the A's could be a half. If the Angels hang on to win in Houston and the A's win, they'd be like, what, half game back? Be, they'd be right there. Is the, no, AL, NL East not spoken for. Phillies are two games behind Atlanta. And the Braves have lost three in a row. The Phillies have won two in a row. And tonight, the Braves are down two runs to the Pirates in the bottom of the eighth in Atlanta. Pirates are leading 3-1. And the Pirates, or I'm sorry, the Phillies, Phillies are down as well, so there may not be a change there. All right, speaking of the Cubs, Victor Caratini. Cubs are playing the Phillies. That goes to TD and the Cubbies. We'll take a look at the rest in the next box. It's a, a, weird, a weird cut there in the machine. There's Alex Reyes. Joey Otani, freshman flash.
poor Alex Reyes. I hope he, I hope he bounces back next season. Show us what he has. And Tomas Nito for Chris Parent is your Met. Three seventy out of four ninety nine on that refractor auto. Let's see if we can find another orange parallel, maybe. Maybe a train whistle. It's a pretty bad cut right there too. What happened? They must have fed the they must have fed the sheet into the cutting machine incorrectly at the factory in Dallas. There's Miguel Andujar out of one fifty. And that goes to the Yankees. All right. Four boxes to go. And the, man, the NL Central is kind of crazy too. With the, with the Cardinals, who seem like they're just going to have a down year this year, Mike Matheny getting fired, and everyone's just like, oh, what's going to happen there, blah, blah. But they're riding, riding their young pitchers. And uh, they are three and a half games behind the Cubs. And Brewers are still in the mix, too. They're only four games behind the Cubs. So that could be an interesting finish as well. Uh Mark Green, no, I did not. I did not work for Tops. The boss man, though, Mike Jasperson, Mike Jaspi, did work for Tops for a long time, and then at Beckett for a very long time after that. So the boss man's been juiced in, juiced into the hobby for for decades, his entire life. And the NL West. Is, is wide open. The Diamondbacks are ahead a game over the Dodgers and a game and a half over the uh, Rockies. It doesn't help that the Rockies have lost four of their uh, have gone four and six in their last ten. They've lost a couple in a row. And the Diamondbacks just scored a run. They're ahead one nothing on the Dodgers. They're in the bottom of the second. Kershaw and Patrick Corbin on the mound. Let's take a look at wild card standings in the next box. Robert Rohr saying Mets need D'Arno back at catcher. Michael Rinderman saying they need D'Arno Darno from three years ago. Robert Rohr says, "Well, Nito's not the answer at catcher. They got Darno. They just they just have to blow up the team." For the bro, I think I think this is a cool shot with that baseball right there. Nice Brandon Woodruff autograph for the Brew Crew. Sanford on the board. Austin Hayes. And we've got Garrett Cooper. Purple is two ninety nine. I think the Mets may just need to just get rid of everybody <laughs> on the Mets. Get rid of everyone not named Jacob Degrom and Noah Syndergaard, and maybe Ahmed Rosario, and then go from there. Nice Ryan McMahon. That is for Mark Green and the Purple Mountains Majesty. Sixty nine out of one fifty. Nice.
All right, three boxes to go. Six autographs to go, and I hope we see some more lower-numbered parallels, more oranges maybe, some reds. I'd like to see some train whistles out of here. All right, wild card standings. Let's take a quick glance at that. So the wild card battle, I think the Yankees pretty much have the lead on the wild card, right? Yeah, they're five games ahead of the next team. So they've got a lock for the for the top wild card spot. And I think it's going to be wow, it's going to be the A's or the Astros. That would be crazy. Who would you rather face? I'd rather you'd rather face the I don't know who you'd rather face. You I, I mean your my gut wants to say Oakland, but they're playing Oakland's playing really good baseball. They do have some starters banged up, but but I don't know, by by the end of September that'd be crazy. Mariners have no chance, I think, unless they win the division, but they're 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 just they're behind Oakland in the wild card, so it's going to be be pretty tough. Tampa Bay's had a pretty good season. 71 to 63 right now. In the NL, it, it could be all over the place. St. Louis is only a half game ahead of the Brewers for the top wild card spot. Brewer, Dodgers are two and a half games behind the Brewers for that second wild card spot. Rockies and Phillies are three games back of that second wild card spot. So that could be a whole mess by the end of the season. There you go, folks. That's a standings update during this pick your team break. Hobby number three. Let's take a look at what the uh, guys are ch chatting a little, a little Mets baseball here. I'm looking at their, I'm going to their depth chart. Robert Rohr was saying earlier, bring back, uh, bring back Daryl Strawberry and Doc Gooden. Michael Rinderman says, hey, get Piazza in there. Get some Keith Hernandez in there, too. Michael Davis saying Syndergaard will be a Yankee next year. And DeGrom a Red Sox? Only way for us to get some serious young talent. I think, unfortunately, I don't think they're ever going to do it. But I think that's what it, it probably would take. I mean, to, to, to really ignite the kickstart. Right? But otherwise, you know... Like get Todd Frazier out of there, get Jose Reyes out of there, you know, get Jay Bruce out of there, move Wheeler, move Matt, move Vargas. There's Sandy Alcantara for the Marlins. Just get prospect, prospect, just reload that farm system. You know. You know, you'd have to move one. I think you should move one of Syndergaard or DeGrom. Do we like Conforto? Maybe keep Conforto. I'm sure you can get a bucket of baseballs for, for Steven Matz. <laughs> At least. Just have him stop eating a roster spot and call, and get someone else, give someone else a shot. Part of this is just about not having guys like Steven Matz eating a rotation spot and give someone else a chance. And Max Freed is your other autograph out of here. Stacy with the Braves. Out of four ninety nine. For the Nats, we got Anthony Rendon to two ninety nine. Two boxes to go.
What are the? I'm looking at the Mets' uh, top 30 prospects according to according to MLB.com. I don't know if there's any names that jump out at me here. We need to work on Andres Jimenez's uh, autograph, though. Justin Dunn, maybe? Is, is that a name that pops up? Franklin Kil Kilome or Kilomain? We just need to work on his autograph, Michael Renderman. I thought Mark Ventos, Vientos, I think, is a name, isn't he? I feel like that name pops out at me. How's Gavin Ciccini doing? That's another name. You guys have to get some more names in here. Oh, Vientos is still 18. All right, so he's a few years away. Could you, would you guys be able to move Cespedes? I don't think anyone's going to eat that contract, right, after, after heel surgery. That might be a, a difficult ask. Nope, you got yeah. No one's gonna take that contract. You guys, you guys are married to Yoannis. That's it. It's like the Angels and and Albert Pujols. That's it. Is Roddy Reed short print for the Nats? Otani, Syndergaard, there it is. Speak of the Devil, Johannes Espedes. And there's Tomas Nito. They don't like you, Tomas. Or you gotta start. You gotta start hitting or something. Chris Parent with the Metropolitans. And there's the second autograph, Victor Robles. Nice, Rick T, last spot mojo, Nationals. I feel like Victor Robles was on, on track to be the Juan Soto of the Nationals, but Juan Soto became the Juan Soto of the Nationals. <laughs> Victor Robles, some injuries have held him back this year, but, but apparently he's just been... When healthy, just destroys. So nice autograph there. Alex Reyes out of 150. Otani. And last box coming up, ladies and gentlemen. I think Robles was supposed to be this year. But then some some uh, some injuries got in the way. Nothing serious, I think. I think just some nagging injuries. 
where he's just kind of on and off and on and off. And I think um, I think they called up Juan Soto not just to give him some experience, not thinking that he'd end up crushing the way he did and staying on the team the entire year. So I think that kind of kind of took pressure off of Richter Robles to like hurry up and get healthy and come back and blah blah blah. But so I think that helped that helped Victor Robles. But he should be next year. I mean he should be in camp and he should be battling for a spot. There may be there may be a Bryce Harper sized hole in that outfield. So I think I think they're expecting him to be healthy and and to battle and take a spot. Yeah, I feel like this year was just a weird year for the Nationals. They've got too much talent on that team to not to not get get it together. Even if they lose Bryce Harper. I think they should have too. They should have traded Bryce Harper. Now it's too late. We got uh, so let's say let's say you subtract you subtract uh, Bryce Harper from this outfield. You still have Juan Soto in left field. You can have like a, a Adam Eaton Michael Taylor combo in center field, and then you have maybe you, maybe you put Victor Victor Robles is an outfielder, right? You put him in a you put him on a corner somewhere, left or right, whatever works for him. Still have Andrew Stevenson can back up those guys. And you still have, still have Trey Turner, still have you know aging but solid Ryan Zimmerman. They can trade him, Robert Roy. He's a free agent. As soon as the baseball season is over, he's an unrestricted free agent. That's that's why they should have traded him this year. But he walks. He walks. All his arbitration years are gone. Those are already eaten up. So this is it. This is big money year for, for Bryce Harper. And Manny Machado. Manny Machado is his last year too. Yeah, he's probably, yeah, he gone. You know? Dodgers could be in play. The whole reason why they didn't sign anybody this season was they had to stay under the luxury cap if they're under the luxury cap, they won't get penalized again next year. The the penalties reset. And so they can afford to 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 put someone like Bryce Harper or maybe even Manny Machado under there. There's Matt Olson, gold, 43 out of 50 for the Oakland A's, Johnny V with that. There's Ronald Herrera for the Rangers, that'll go to who has Texas again? That'll go to Nicholas Hammonds. TJ reporting the Tulsa Drillers clinching the North Division Championship. Nice. Go Drillers. Dodgers double A team. All right, let's see what the last auto last auto is the one per case. Zach Granite. I was wondering where that where where Granite was gonna be. There he is. Sanford with the Twins. You think they move? I think, yeah, I think they should keep Manny Machado and then just move Corey Seager and his sort of soft elbow to second base, which has always been kind of a kind of a black hole there. I think Brian Dozier will probably, probably walk and get another contract elsewhere. That's what I've been saying. All right, let's see if any uh, low-numbered stuff. Maybe uh, a, a, a red, a train whistle, a super fractor? No? Orange? Something? Looks like nothing. But there you go, folks. The nice break nonetheless. This was our last case of Topps Chrome Baseball. I'm sure we'll try to get some more at some point, so keep an eye on the website, jazbeeshobbyland.com, but... 
I'm sure there'll be a plenty of new baseball releases coming up in the next week or two that we'll, that we'll chew on. So thanks to everybody for getting into all the Chrome action on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thank you, and we'll see you next time. Am I giving away money in this break? No, I'm giving away money in that Cornerstones break. Go, go get, let's go get some basketball. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.